think I will entitle today's video, When the Going Gets Tough, the Okra Gets Going. <laughs> it's doing great. Hey guys, it's Chris from Nichols Retirement Empire. I'm out here on the back porch today, and you can see it's overcast. It's early in the morning. Uh, and our weather's really been weird down here this year. My plants have kind of been going crazy over it. Like, it'll be really cool. I say really cool, but it'll be cooler than normal. And overcast, we've had, you know, rain and stuff like that, but it's been dry the last week or two. Um, and it's really, my plants are kind of acting crazy. I have some that are, um, you know, like they'll wilt real easy. And, of course, you know, the struggle with anything in containers to keep the right amount of water and all that kind of stuff. So I've been going through that. i got a couple things here I'm going to show you uh, just how it's affecting. And you might have some advice for me, but uh, let's look and see what's going on. This back here is getting me. Um, you know, my, my basil and my sage, these two things are doing okay. Um, I, you know, like I said, I moved all this stuff back here where it's more shaded. Okay? And everything seems to be doing fine except this parsley. Now, I think what happened here, and, and the same thing on this parsley, is it got burnt up. Uh, you know, when you have overcast days and then all of a sudden you have a day that's 90-something degrees, um, you know, I think that's what's affecting these. Um, this oregano seems to be doing okay, and I wanted to show you these before I, co came, before I came out and trimmed them and stuff like that, but uh, I may have to move these inside or move them up on the front porch where they really are are more shaded I need to find me a little shelf or whatever to put up there so these have been um, very sensitive and I know basil's tough I mean I know this stuff uh, I can see the three or the four that do well so I think that is purely from getting too hot I don't necessarily think it was from not having enough water now the same thing with my tomatoes and peppers you know these will wilt and I know you know they're gonna wilt in the hot sun and stuff like that um, and you can see this has happened you know more than once so I ended up I have a I have them actually under an umbrella out here um, because it's just uh, such a change you know I, th I think it's just uh, stressing these plants wash is kind of you know still suffering through its its mildew you know I told you guys I really wasn't going to do a whole lot more with that um, when it dies, when it keeps, when it uh, quits producing, then it has quit. You know, and I'll get some squash off of it. You can see it's still blooming, but I'm not going to spend a bunch of time really doing anything else for this. Um, still got some bell peppers over there. The growth is slow because of the dry weather. Uh, the okra, it'll actually kind of speed up <laughs> when you get the really hot days. So uh, that's the cool thing about okra. Everything else might be doing terrible, but the okra will be doing great. Um, oh, look, I do, I do, I do, I do have some little beets coming up. Awesome. It said they would germinate uh, in seven to ten days, and it's been less than seven days, and there's the beets. Okay, so they're coming along. Um, they are not, now this little bed, oh, there's a couple. Yes, sir. Man, I hope I get some rain today. I get some rain today. Yep, this stuff over here is germinating too. This is collards. Remember, I just kind of threw them on the top and kind of raked them around a little bit. So I got some collards coming. <laughs> Look over here. Yes, sir. Man, I'm pumped about this. There's my collards coming up. Look at them there, that little patch. All right, and then down here I had spinach. Mm, I do not see any sign of spinach. Okay, but that's all right. I am encouraged with my collards and my beets. And I planted, I want to say six peas right here. That might be one right there. Come on, Mr. P. Might be one right there. Oh, might be one right there. 
So they may be germinating. I planted four or two, two or four peas over here. I don't see any sign unless that's one right there. Yep. There's there's a pea coming up right there. Planted four over here. So my stuff's germinating, except for my spinach and my cantaloupes. Okay, guys, there you have it. That's all I'm gonna show you today. So I got my container struggles. Um, but it's that time of year, middle of hot, middle of the summer. Uh, so that's not a surprise. Uh, got my squash struggles, which I have given up on. Forgive me, but I have given up on the squash. I'll just get whatever squash I got left. I got my money's worth out of it. And that's the main thing, you know, that you planted it and you got to harvest enough. Uh, so I got my squash struggles. Um, I think that's it. And I'm pumped about the new seeds germinating. I'm excited to see that. Looking forward to having some collards this fall. So you guys have a good day. Um, Nichols Retirement Empire. If you hadn't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, and I reached 500 subscribers the other day. I just want to thank everybody that has subscribed to me and watched my channel. I, I really appreciate that. I really do appreciate you guys. And you say such, you know, I get so many positive comments and you guys are so nice. Uh, but anyway, I uh, just appreciate y'all. So have a good day and uh, get out in your garden. Check it out. Grow you, grow you some collards this fall. There's nothing to it. You saw what I did. All I did, of course, they hadn't grown yet, but all I did was go out there and throw some seeds on the ground, scratch them around in some good soil. So anyway, you guys have a good day. Bye.